Hey Springfield First, I'm Jessica, and I'd like to share some of the events that are coming up. Make sure to mark your calendars for Sunday, September 8th, when we celebrate what God has done and is doing through the people of Springfield First United Methodist Church. We are multiple worship experiences, but one church. We will begin our celebration with a 10 a.m. unified and combined worship experience. This will include our traditional choirs and contemporary worship teams. All of our other worship experiences will roll into this one worship celebration. Sunday school and small groups will not meet that morning. All kid life and student life will be with us in our worship celebration. After the service, we will have a fun-filled picnic lunch, including hamburgers, hot dogs, and chips. There will be games for our kids and students to enjoy. All this will occur on the north and west lawn of the church, with space to eat and enjoy in the Community Life Center as well. On Sunday, August 11th from 5 to 7.30 p.m., an open house will be held for new student life students and families. Meet the student life leaders, volunteers, and other students as you learn more about student life ministry at Springfield First. We will have our final summer TLC Mission Garden Work Day on Tuesday, August 13th at 6.30 p.m. Come help us care for the Springfield First Mission Garden as we harvest food that helps to feed the hungry in Springfield. The next starting point will be on Sunday, August 18th from 11.45 to 12.45 in Atrium 1. This is your opportunity to meet the pastors and for us to get to know you over lunch. If you would like to learn more about this community of faith and opportunities to get more out of your experience here, contact Sharon Sweeney, Director of Connections. A huge thank you to the students who have worked here this summer. You have all made a significant difference in the ministry of Springfield First through your efforts here over the past few months. We'd like to recognize Charlotte Crofton, the pastoral intern, Madeline Barrett, the communications intern, Mitchell Crofton and Julia Ehorn, the worship arts interns, Rachel Dempsey, the communications and hospitality intern, Sam Karoff, the kid life and student life intern, Thank you again for helping us to love God, build community, and unleash compassion. We wish you all God's blessings as you enter this school year and pray for His continued guidance and direction in each of your lives. There are other opportunities that you can learn more about on our website, Facebook page, or in the Good Tidings magazine. What will be your one more way to love God, build community, and unleash compassion this week? If you have any questions, please stop by the Connection Point or contact our Director of Connections, Sharon Sweeney.